Today we're going to talk about OpenOffice. OpenOffice is a free productivity suite similar to Microsoft Office. However, it is open source, which means that it was built um, in collaboration with many different community developers, uh, Sun Microsystems and other companies, just all sort of pooled a lot of uh, time and code together to create something that nobody in particular owns. It's also completely free for commercial or non-commercial use. I've downloaded the installer and I'm going to run it. It'll ask me to click Next and then it will unpack all the necessary installation files. You can just sit back and relax until the main installer appears. I'm going to fast forward a bit. Once our main installer screen comes up, we'll click Next, enter user information, and I'm going to choose custom because I don't like the quick start automatically starting with my system. So I'm going to scroll down here and disable it just by clicking on it and clicking the little red X. And I'll go ahead and click next. I am going to set it as the default for uh, Microsoft Office documents since I don't have Microsoft Office on this computer. If you want to use it in conjunction with Microsoft Office, you can leave those checkboxes blank. Now that the install is finished, we can go ahead and close it by clicking Finish, and those two icons in the desktop, the installer and that folder full of files that it unpacked, can go in the recycle bin, uh, unless you plan to install it on other computers, in which case you could uh, copy it. I'm going to double click on the OpenOffice.org icon. Now a window will pop up and ask me to finalize some settings. We'll go ahead and click Next, and then you can enter in your user information and what organization or anything along those lines. I'm going to click Next and choose to allow it to automatically update. I'm going to click I want to register later. Now we see a menu. We can create several different types of documents. First, let's open up a text document. Writer is OpenOffice's equivalent of Microsoft Word, fairly standard uh, word processing program. I'm not going to save my changes and now I'm going to click on Spreadsheet. This opens up Calc, which is equivalent to Excel. Presentation is very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint. The name of the program in OpenOffice is called Impress. And you can see uh, fairly familiar slide layouts. Not going to save changes here either. Then we'll click on Drawing. This program is kind of an odd one. I'm not sure the equivalent in Microsoft Office, but it allows you to create shapes, diagrams, flowcharts, things of that nature. Next I'll click on Database, which opens up the program just called Base, very similar to Microsoft Access. You can create and edit databases with rows and columns and create formulas and run reports. I don't have anything particularly clever to put into my database, so I'm just going to close it. Now I'm going to click Formula, which opens up an interesting program called Math. Math allows you to set up equations using the sort of notation you would in school. Or uh, it also would be very useful for engineers or people doing calculations. I'm going to see if I can still lay out the quadratic formula from back in high school. And there we have it. Isn't that lovely? Of course, I don't have any good reason to save this. As we go back to the main screen, clicking Open will allow you to select any documents that you've recently created or edited. Down below, you can get help from the community, special add-ons that would um, add features to various programs within OpenOffice. You could find it in the Start menu under OpenOffice. If you scroll down, there it is. OpenOffice is frequently updated with new patches, bug fixes, features, so I would recommend downloading any updates it prompts you about. If you have any questions about OpenOffice or other computer-related things, please don't hesitate to contact us here at Computer Stop. We'd love to hear from you.